Hi everyone, it's Terry here and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project idea. I'm going to show you how to make really cute Valentine note card envelopes that would be perfect if you have a child in school and you're going to be wanting to create some Valentines to share with classmates or maybe somebody special that you love, maybe some of your colleagues at work or maybe something really fun to tuck into a lunchbox to let somebody know how special they are to you. I'm going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, the Painted with Love Specialty Designer Series paper that's on page 19 of the Occasions catalog. And I'm going to use my envelope punch board. We don't sell in our catalog a really small gift card envelope, but you can make your own. And let me walk you through it. It also has a scoring tool, which is very handy for this project. So I've cut a piece of Painted with Love Specialty Designer Series paper, and because I want the ultimate size to be two by three and a half, it says that I start with a five by five piece, which is what I've done. It tells me to line up at the score line the very first time at two inches. And what I'm gonna do is punch, and then there's a score line that runs all the way underneath, and I'm just gonna take my scoring tool and run it on that, very easy to do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it, and on this score line, I'm going to line it up on this guide where it says line it up with the score line I've already created. I'm going to punch, and I'm going to score again. I'm going to turn it, line it up a third time, punch, and score. And then the fourth and final time, I'm going to line it up, I'm going to punch, and I'm going to score. And then what I'm going to do is fold on the score line like so. And I have a really cute envelope that will be fun to decorate. And I'm going to do that in a minute. Now you'll notice that these two ends are quite pointy. So if I turn my scoring board around and I tuck in the pointy end, there's actually a rounder like so. I also want to point out that the inside is really cool too, <laughs> but it's like this, and now I'm going to show you how you can decorate the outside and finish off this project with a cute insert for the inside. To close the envelope and so that it's nice and firm, I would suggest you use some tear and tape adhesive. Um, I love this ad adhesive for really um, projects that you want to stay closed, maybe a heavier paper. So I'm just going to use a couple of pieces of the tear and tape and then peel off the outer covering. There we go. And then just fold it up and there we go. We have a really cute envelope. So let's do some decorative touches for the outside. I have the Sweet and Sassy Framelits dies. Love these because they have so many fun hearts. So let's die cut a heart for the outside. One of the colors in the designer series paper is Melon Mambo. So I'm going to die cut a Melon Mambo heart from a scrap piece that I had lying around. Because when I originally started designing this, I thought it would be good um, to make this for maybe a school, for classmates. Um, I grabbed my Awesomely Artistic Stamp Set. And I like it because it has this phrase that says friend. 
So I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry, which is again one of the colors in the designer series paper. I have a tiny scrap of Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to ink up the phrase and stamp it down. Whoops, it's smeared. Let me turn it over. There we go. And then we'll put it all together for a final touch. All right, so I have my friend phrase and my heart and my envelope. So what I'm going to do is take a Stampin' Dimensional and I'm gonna put it on the back of this heart and I'm going to attach the heart to the front of my envelope. And then I've got uh, some leftover Stampin' Dimensionals and so I'm going to cut a piece to go across, I'm going to have to trim that a little bit, I cut it a little bit too long, there we go. And then I'm going to add this like so, and there we go, that would complete, complete my project. Now I could add another heart, I mean there's so many different ways that you can decorate your envelopes. I'm going to keep mine quite simplistic. But then there's, for the inside, what I'd like to do is create a little note card. And from the Heart Happiness stamp set, which is also in the Occasions catalog, there's this really cool heart. So I'm going to ink it up with Rich Razzleberry, again, to pull all the colors together. Maybe I'll stamp it down like so. And then I can write a nice little message for a friend, tuck my card inside my envelope, like so, and I have one Valentine to go. Now it would be very quick and easy to make a bunch of these. Once you cut your paper and you score it, they're very simple to put together. And if you have a little uh, young person in your home, who wants to help you make these valentines, this would be also very easy to do because they could die cut the hearts while you're putting together the envelopes. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and measurements for all of the cardstock, please visit my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While you're on my blog, don't forget to subscribe to my free newsletter. It comes out each week and has a project you won't see anywhere else. And if you liked this project idea and you want to see more, please don't forget to like it on YouTube and then subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post a new video every week. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I hope you'll create something beautiful today too. Bye for now.